Hello everyone and welcome back to another Two Cents Plus video and today we're going to talk about Cooking Simulator, a new game that just came out that I am pretty addicted to right now and uh, the reason that I'm making this video is because I wanted to talk about some tips and tricks that'll make this game just a little less annoying because as much fun as it is it's kind of janky and um, it has some quirks about it that make it a pain in the butt to play sometimes so uh, I'm gonna bring you five tips uh, just five this time around but I have plenty more uh, that I'll probably be making in another video depending on how well this is received uh, to, to get you guys set up to, I don't know, have a less painful experience. I know that's not a huge endorsement for the game. It's just like, this game is so fun, but I'm explaining to you how to make it not painful. But just, just bear with me. The, you'll get it once we get there. Alright, so the first bit of advice I'm going to give you guys, especially if you're starting the story mode and you're not playing in free mode, is to buy a second cutting board. Now, this is fairly important, or at least it's been fairly important for me, uh, for kind of food management and keeping everything together um, when you're cooking, because uh, having one coating, cutting board is fine, but when you want to do precise cuts uh, and you have uh, multiple items, say for example, if you're cutting a potato and you have to cut it in certain pieces, what'll happen is after you do a few cuts, they'll start falling off everywhere and you wanna pick it up and put it back down. And one of the interesting things about the cutting board is every time you pick anything up and put it back down, it automatically goes back into the middle of the cutting board. Um, there are certain cases where you can pick it up and place it in specific spots, but that just becomes tedious after a while. So buying a second cutting board early on gives you uh, a bit more surface area to work with. Uh, you can cut more than one vegetable at a time without really having too much of an issue. Um, and it just, you know, just a quality of life thing that's really nice to do, or just nice to have, I guess I should say. The second thing I would like to mention is the importance of the bucket. The bucket will be your best friend. So um, when you start out the story mode, you don't initially have one, so go ahead and grab you a bucket. And uh, also don't move like an idiot when you pick up things and put it into the bucket because uh, a lot of people don't know this but when you pick something up that item is slated to drop exactly where you were when you grabbed it so if you move it'll fall on the floor um, but back to the bucket the bucket is really nice because it can carry a lot of things uh, at one time and because the game can be a little finicky sometimes when you have a lot of things in any type of container um, they kind of fly all over, all over the place. They're a lot less likely to do that in the bucket. Uh, another good thing the bucket is for is cleaning up messes. Um, when you drop a lot of things on the floor, especially like breaking plates, you got a lot of shards. If you knock over a cutting board that you cut up a lot of vegetables on or anything like that, um, it could be a pain in the butt to pick up all that stuff individually or uh, try to get it to fit on the cutting board or any other thing that you have. The bucket is your best friend. You can pick up a lot of stuff and throw it all in the trash at one time and it just makes things a lot simpler for you. So uh, get a bucket. The next one is perk related and this one's pretty important. I mean, chances are if you get far enough in the game you might uh, end up figuring this out anyway, but I figured, you know, for the people who might be confused or having issues with cutting things, it's worth a mention in this video and that is getting steady hand, uh, the perk which uh, hold, helps you hold the vegetable in place to do more finer cuts to get the desired effect because if you guys ever cut things on this game, like say for instance a potato or a lemon, you notice you cut it, the two halves kind of fall apart and then you gotta turn it sideways and try to cut them again or anything like that. Um, but with the, with the way they have it set up now, a steady hand, you hold the button down uh, on the controller, it's L2, I don't know what the actual key binding is, but it'll tell you on the screen. And uh, you can hold it in place and do as many cuts as you want without having to worry about it kind of falling all over the place and doing what it wants. Um, and then when you're done, uh, you just release the button and all the pieces just kind of fall uh, down. This is extremely helpful for those precise cuts uh, if you want to make french fries or anything like that. And I know some people, uh, watching other people play and stream this game especially, I'm watching them try to cut things into the portions that are asked. And uh, you rarely see them buy the perk steady hand. So get it it is very useful to you 
And the last tip I'm going to share with you is another one that's perk related. As a matter of fact, this one is probably more important than the previous one. I would get this one before I even get the steady hand perk and that is heat proof gloves. Now the reason that you want this is because the spatula is absolutely useless. Take your spatula, throw it in the garbage and grab the <laughs> and grab the heat proof gloves because it just makes life so much easier flipping things on the spatula is a nightmare um, some people have probably gotten the hang of it over time after lots of practice of trying to figure it out some people get lucky and flip it all the time but it's it's just not really it's not it's not good something needs to be done about the uh, spatula in this game because it is bad uh, but when you have heat proof gloves you don't have to worry about that because you can pick up anything that you cook by hand and you can flip it just with your hand you just flip it right over drop it straight down into whatever it was on and you do not have to have that issue you don't have to have a plate to pick it up or anything like that you could just grab it flip it and drop it it makes things so much more simple uh during the early stages when you're first learning uh, you don't even have to deal with the spatula like i said i threw mine in the garbage Alright guys, and one of the last tips and tricks that I wanted to show you guys is actually a pretty good one, and that is making sure you keep all of your seasonings and uh, everything else you need, like your oils and all that stuff, within reach. Do not leave them on the, um, on the, the shelving that they have over here. That's where they put them, that's where they want you to keep them, but you have to remember this is your kitchen. You can put them wherever they are useful to you. So I like to grab the bucket, take all of my essential ingredients, all the stuff that I know I'll be using immediately. You won't have this many uh, during the beginning, so you don't have to worry about having this many. But I bring them over to the counter, and I put them all in my workstation. So I don't have to run back and forth to go get them and put them back and all that stuff. Because what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up leaving them over here anyway. So don't, don't even bother with that. Just leave them over here in your designated workspace it'll make life a whole lot easier for you now as I stated before there are lots and lots of different tips and tricks that I can give you guys but I wanted to see how well this video was received uh, because like I said I do I do stream this game and uh, I really do enjoy making videos for it in um, and streaming it but obviously if it's not going to be something you guys want to see then I won't continue to pursue it but if you like this video um, there's much more tips and tricks that I can give you uh, don't forget to check out some of the streams that I have throughout the week uh, during the daytime uh, I don't have exact times because our usual stream schedule is at night um, but I've been playing this kind of randomly throughout the week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you ever want to catch me playing it so you can be notified um, and yeah well you can always catch some more tips and tricks there. But these are the five that I came up with now. Plenty more to come as long as you guys enjoy this video. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one.